What is that guy writing? Math by... Oh, I love this guy! Yeah! Looks like he's fo uh, solving a um, uh, first order linear differential equation. Yeah, and what is he doing? He's identifying his P's and his Q's after he has it in that standard form. I like that standard form. It's easy I identified the P's and the Q's and now he's getting his integrating factor. Whoa, 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 we'll catch up. Right, so he's getting this integrating factor. That's e to the PX DX, right? And that's gonna, he gonna call it his mu. Yeah, so hopefully he doesn't lose his mu's. What is he doing with his mu's? He's going throughs and he's uh, multiplying it by each term in our original, well, our um, differential form, sure. Or not our differential form, but our, our linear form. Yeah, so he multiplies each one through by mu. And then what? Oh, jeez, no way. He takes a look at that left-hand side. On the left-hand side. Right, over on the left-hand side, he sees that he has the, the derivative of a product. Sure. I sure hope that he shows me where that comes from. Yeah. Oh, there it is, right? Here he's actually taking the derivative of that left-hand side just to go to show that um, it is indeed... Whoa, getting a little close to me, buddy. Right. So why don't we come over here so you can see that. So he's taking the derivative of these guys, right? Um, derivative of the second times the first plus the derivative of the first times the second. And there you go, right? Using the product rule, we do have that left-hand side. So let me um, go back over to my left-hand side. Yeah. Now that we're over here, I'm just rewriting my right-hand side. Why? Because, because I want to integrate each side with respect to x. Yes, left on the left side. Mm -hmm. I'm taking the derivative of that integral. Oh boy. Yeah, um, I'm left with the function. Ooh, let me show you what's going on down here. Yes. Oh man. Right. Here, here, we're um, integrating that guy. Right. Oh man. That's, um, what do they call that? By parts? Oh. Is that when two groups get together and um, they have different views and then they come to a, a, a solution? No, that's bipartisan. Okay, um, I let u be uh, minus 3x, yeah, and then what did I do? Um, um, dv was that guy, and then I separated it into my parts formula. Um, that's uh, the integral of u dv is uv, Minus the integral of v to u. Okay, sure. Um, 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 is that better? Oh, I'm gonna have to go. No, that's okay. I can integrate that other piece. Right, that's e to the 2x, right? Then my u is 2x and my du is 2. So then I gotta divide. Okay, let's come back over here. Now that we've talked about that integration, or at least I showed you, and then, um, Let's recopy. All right, so then that's what he's doing down here. He's recopying that sucker. Because he's almost to a solution to that linear differential equation. He need only divide. Don't forget that constant of integration. Yeah, so now he divides both sides by e to the 2x. Right, um, and what does that get you? That's one over e to the 2x, and then you can use the negative property of exponents. Yeah, okay, good. And that's how you got the minus 2x over there. Right, um, box it up, because I think he's done. Unless, of course, he wants to show you an alternate form. Yeah, I think he does. Right, um, so then here he goes, right? He's multiplying through by that e to the 2x. Great. Um, I'm sitting here and I'm talking to nothing, right? Trying to, okay, um, right. He adds that c in front of that. Draws a box, draws a flower, because now he's done. Thank you.